In this video, we're going to put into practice this idea of um, functions and function notation using verbal statements. So we've looked at um, graphs and tables, and so now we want to look at a verbal statement, which tends to be a little trickier um, than um, graphs and tables. So we want it, um, we're going to do parts A, B, and C. So identify the input and output quantities as, as always. It's always the first thing we want to do. Then we're going to identify whether the relationship is a function or not. If that relationship is a function, then we are going to write it in function notation using the variable name or the function name k. So we first need to identify our inputs and outputs. And so again, our input and our output colors here. So input being blue and the output being um, green. And we're looking for the words is a function of or with respect to. And so here's with respect to. So we know after the respect to, we know that the thing that is after that um, words with respect to is the input. And prior to that is the output. So the output is a function of the input is how we think about it. So whatever, whenever you see those keywords with respect to a function of um, in relationship to um, any of those small little phrases, then we know that the output comes before that, the input comes after those words. And so our input here is the cost of an item. So I'm going to use the letter C equals cost of item and in dollars because we need the unit. So again, a letter, whatever it is we're talking about, whatever a variable represents, and then if whatever units we need and our output in this case, and I'm just going to use I and we're going to say the item. So now we have to determine if this is a function or not. So again, a function is for each input, there is only one unique output amount. So if I just imagine, let's suppose if my input was $5, is there only one item I can purchase with my $5? Well, I could probably buy some candy, package of candy. I might buy um, a six pack of soda. So there are multiple items that I um, could purchase with my $5 for. In other words, for each input there in this case is multiple outputs. So we would say no, not a function. because the cost of an item, I, sorry, the, the, yes, the cost of the item the cost may purchase multiple items. So since this is not a function, we're going to say for part C, so it says write NA if that is not, so we don't want to leave this blank. We want to make sure we write no, that's not um, applicable because we don't have um, a function, so we can't write it in function notation. If we look at the next one, let's say if you earn $12.50 per hour, is the amount of your paycheck a function of the hours we work? So a function of again is the keywords. We know that the hours to work is going to be the input. The amount of the, your paycheck is the output. So H equals number of hours worked. Again, it has to be quantifiable. So we need to have the number of hours or some sort of unit of measurement to indicate we're counting hours. And then the amount of the paycheck um, so we can either use A or P. So I'm going to I'm going to say A equals amount of paycheck. And our paychecks are in dollars in most cases. So we 
use the proper units there of a dollar sign. So now we have to determine, is this situation a function? So again, we ask ourselves the question, if I work seven hours, will there be one and only one amount of our paycheck if we're getting paid $12.50 per hour? Yes. If I work 10 hours, is there only one and only one? one and only one paycheck amount, again, for at $12.50, 20 hours, and so on. The answers each time is yes. So yes, this is a function. Because each hour worked, as only one paycheck amount. So now, since this is a function, since this is a function, we're gonna write it in function notation. Again, function notation indicates that we need the output letter and then that equals the function name and then inside the parentheses is our input letter. So in this case, we know our output letter is A. So A equals the function name. In this case, oops, let me write that. A equals the function name, which is, in this case, they're telling us it's K. Again, this is just some arbitrary letter. So this is telling us K. And then inside the parentheses, because it's the input, the input letter is H. So again, this says the, so when we read this, because when we have the expanded form of function notation, it tells us the story. It says that the amount A is a function of, is a function of the number of hours worked.